Hi and uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, glad to see you. So today uh, what I'm going to be doing is changing this light switch over to a smart switch because there's nothing worse than when someone comes along and you've got a smart bulb in and they turn the light switch off and then you go to ask your smart speaker to turn the light switch on doesn't respond. Urgh! So annoying. Turn on sitting room. Sitting room isn't responding. Please check its network connection and power supply. So you can get over that by having a smart switch. So you can turn it on and off at the switch, but you can also turn it on and off using your smart speaker, which cuts out the middleman. Now, this is only going to be a single gang, gang switch, okay, so it should be relatively straightforward. I say that, it never always is, but hopefully this time it will be. Um, a few, uh, a year or two back, I did fit a double gang, uh, which you can have a look at that. I'll put a link in the description box and up above here if it's on your device. Uh, now, the things to be aware of is that it does come with a capacitor, just in case you get a bit of flickering. Um, I will explain that later. Hopefully, I won't have to fit it. If you've got modern LED lights, you should be okay. Okay, if you've got some older LED lights, you may have to fit the capacitor. It depends on the bulbs you've got. And obviously, the single gang switch. Now, the thing with the single with these switches, they work on 2.4 gigahertz, right? Now, the only issue with this is that this is not very far away from the router, and most modern routers have 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And the closer you get to the router, it'll sw automatically switch to 5 gigahertz. So uh, I probably will, I'll try it, but I probably will have to switch off my 5 gigahertz to um, enable me to get it started up. Once it's, once it's done, I can turn the 5 gigahertz back on, but I will explain that to you later on in the video. Um, with a bulb, you can get around it by sticking it in a lamp and, and taking it away from the router or put it in a, in a far room. You can get it in a room that's far away from the router, set your light up, bring it back down and plug it into your living room next to your router, it'll be okay then. But with this, you can't move it away, it's stuck on the wall. So unless I move my router away, which I can't do with plugged into the wall, I'm gonna have to turn off the 5G. So anyway, without further, without further, without further to do, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do before I touch the light switch is turn off the power to it. So I found my fuse box here, and here's the lights, and I can turn that off, and I'll turn all the lights off, okay? If you're not sure which one it is, you can almost turn off the main switch, power switch there, but it will turn power off to everything. So I'll switch off your internet, your central heating, if you've got that, uh, and it does mess everything up, you've got to turn everything back on again. But for safety reasons, if you're not sure, just turn off the main switch. I'm just turning off the lights, so I know there's no power going to it. I'll just turn it off now. Okay, one thing I will say before I get started, I am not a qualified electrician, okay? If you're not sure, then don't attempt this, okay? Um, and also, I'd always recommend, once if you do do the job, is to get an electrician just to double check it over to make sure everything's okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this panel off, and you can see the light's not working here. I've also got an electrical tester, they're not expensive, they were very worthwhile getting, and you can just switch that on and, and just make sure there's no power, and it'll beep to tell you that there's power going to it or not. So there's no power going to that at all. So I know I'm safe. So just undo these now. Okay, so in your socket, you've got your live and your switch live. Just two wires in this one. And as you can see, there's no neutral. Okay, so I've got my electrical tester and I've actually got the power switched on at the moment. Now, this is why I don't want to touch anything in it, but I want to give you a demonstration of, so I know which one is which. So with the electrical tester, okay, you can see that that's the permanent life. And this one here, it's got no power. It's got. It's obviously registering that, but you can see that's the, that's the main light. But if I turn them on, if I turn the light on, okay, it's got power going to both now. 
Turning off. And nothing. Okay. Nothing. Power. Turn the light on. And it's power going to both. So that's my that's my permanent life, that's my switch life. So on your diagram here, you've got two wiring schematics. This is if you have a neutral, and this is if you don't. So I'm going to be using this one. So as you can see, you've got L and L1. So L is your permanent life, okay? So the permanent light goes into L, and the switch life goes into L1. Apologies if it's a bit dark, but I want to show you the light coming on and off. Um, so I've got the wires fitted at the back here. Obviously, I'm not going to go anywhere near it uh, because for obvious reasons. So I've got them both fitted, the live and the switch live. So there you can see that it coming on and off as you touch it. I will set it up later. Problem I've got, and this is what you want to be wary of, is the box behind. They've got all this, these, this wire in here, whoever fitted the light before. With these two, these two huge <laughs> connector blocks on the end. Now the problem with that is it doesn't give me any room to put the switch back in. So what I'm going to have to do is trim all these wires down, and obviously there's an earth here as well, which I'm going to have to make sure that's still connected. Uh, get a lot, get a lot trimmed down so I can fit the box on. Okay, so what I've had to do, I've had to shorten all the wires, cut a, cut a few. And put them all about the way I've just about got it to fit in so that's really something you need to be aware of when you are fitting these type of lights to make sure you go in the recess room uh, you can get uh, something that goes around here as like an extender like uh, which goes around that so if you haven't got enough room you can actually sit on that and it will bring it out a little bit for you so now I'm going to put it all back in and get it all set up okay so I've got it all fitted on although it hasn't gone back in properly. So what I'm gonna do is have to get a spacer here. I will put a link in the description for, for a spacer you can put behind. So I'm gonna, eventually gonna to have to take it off when I get the spacer, put it back on and it should be fine then. Okay, so then you just wanna set it up first. So what you do, you press and hold the button for four seconds until you get a blinking light in this Wi-Fi one here. Okay, it's now blinking. Then what you do, on your app, remember this will only work with Smart Life app, okay? Uh, you press the plus button in the corner. So you wanna go where it says electrician. <laughs> I'm not an electrician, so there you are. And you wanna have a switch Wi-Fi. I wanna put my password in here, so that's what I'll do now. Oh, as you can see there, it says, to make sure I zoom popped in. Okay, 2.4 gigahertz, not five. Smiley face, unhappy face. Okay, so now it's adding device. You just have to confirm that. Okay, and as I thought, it's not uh, connecting. And this is because is trying to connect to the 5G and it just won't allow it. So what I'm gonna do now is go into my router settings and switch off the 5G. What I'll do, I'll actually put that on the video as well, how to do it. I've done it before with another uh, switch and another light. So I'll just put that in so you can see what you need to do. Okay, so let's try again. I've turned off my 5G, so let's try again. Hopefully it'll work now. Okay, it's flashing. I just press the plus sign at the top here. Then we want a socket, we want switch, Wi-Fi only. Okay, we want password again. Okay, so it's gonna ask me now to confirm whether the light's blinking, which I'm gonna confirm that, yes. And then it's gonna try and search for the device within two minutes. Okay, and now that I've turned off the 5G, it's connected fine. So I just got, I just want to know what, where, where, where it has to be, if I can say it. It's easy for you to say. 
I'm going to go lounge. Sorry, all my screens cracked a bit. And there it is. So I should be able to turn it off and off and on. There we are. Off. On. Off. On. Ta-da. And you can change the name of it. Um, you know, the Alexa. I won't say the name. I won't say the name. The... Uh, <laughs> The um, smart speakers will now pick that up as well. It's already it's already got it. So I should, if I log in here, you can see it's saying it. Yeah, there we are. And hopefully it'll be in here now. There we are. So you can do it in the app as well. Or I can ask it. Should we try it? Should we ask it? Turn on back room. Turn off back room. Okay, so that's all set up and done now. It's all it's all working. Don't forget to go back in and turn your five gigahertz back on again. And it should be up and running and you should have no problems with the light. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps uh, build traction for the video. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all again soon.